Democratic governor in the Deep South has won re-election in Louisiana, delivering the second blow at the ballot box for President Donald Trump this month in a conservative state. <laughs> governor John Bell Edwards, a moderate Democrat, but a Democrat nonetheless. As for the president. God bless his heart. Claimed a narrow victory in his Republican-leaning state, where Trump is still popular. The president had visited Louisiana multiple times in the closing weeks of the race in an effort to drive up Republican turnout and showcase the power of his support in state elections. But it was another hard loss for Trump after voters in Kentucky flipped their governor's office blue earlier this month. The Democratic governor there, overcoming the intervention of the president, who also campaigned in the state for the Republican challenger. The GOP candidate lost his re-election bid a day after a get-out-the-vote rally headlined by Trump. In both states, President Trump said a vote for Republicans is a vote to punish Democrats in Washington, directly linking impeachment politics to local politics. If you lose, they're going to say Trump suffered the greatest defeat in the history of the world. This was the greatest. You can't let that happen to me. The president was under pressure to lead his party to victory in Louisiana, a state he won in 2016 by nearly 20 points, as the impeachment inquiry into his dealings with Ukraine has ramped up. House impeachment investigators releasing this weekend hundreds of pages of testimony from two top government witnesses, including Tim Morrison, a former national security aide. Morrison recalls how political donor turned ambassador Gordon Sondland informed a Ukrainian official that the country would probably need to announce investigations that would benefit the president politically as a condition for receiving U.S. military aid. The release of the transcript came ahead of another outpouring of public testimony this week that's expected to feature both Morrison and Sondland. Ahead of a week that will see several key witnesses publicly testify, Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has invited Trump to present his case to impeachment investigators. Pelosi, in her CBS interview that aired on Sunday, said that Trump has the opportunity to appear or answer questions in writing. And she vowed to protect the whistleblower, even as Trump continued to tweet that that person should be unmasked.